In the last video, I left off having just installed Windows Terminal right here, but I don't have PowerShell 7 yet. I do have the old Windows PowerShell in here. If I right click on the start menu, you can see Windows PowerShell, but I don't have PowerShell 7, which is the open source one and installs alongside Windows PowerShell. So let's do that. Let's install it. I'm just going to go to the browser, any browser. In this case, it's um, Edge, Microsoft Edge, because that's what is already on this virtual machine. And I have installed Chrome or Firefox on here. I don't want to restore any pages. No, thank you. And I'm just going to, let's see, got it. OK, um, let's just click that. I'm just going to go to GitHub, G-I-T-H-U-B, GitHub, and then .com, and then slash PowerShell with a capital P here and a capital S, and then a slash, and then PowerShell again, like that. GitHub.com, PowerShell, PowerShell. Now, once I get to that website, the first thing I'm going to do is, is see here is all of these um, uh, these source code files. But if I continue down on the page, I will see the um, installation files. And this is a 64-bit machine. If you have a 32-bit machine, you can use this one down here. And I want the stable version, so download stable version. So let's click that MSI there and download that file. All right, so there's our file. I'm just going to go ahead and open the file and go ahead through these this wizard here. And it's going to install in Program Files, PowerShell. I am going to click this right here. I'm going to click most of the defaults, but in this case, add Run with PowerShell 7, Context Menu for PowerShell Files. So I'm going to go ahead and click that box as I go through this and click Next. We'll go ahead and leave these at the default and install. I'll have to click yes here for the user account control so that I allow my computer to run as an administrator. Installation is complete and I'm not going to launch PowerShell right now so I'm not going to check this checkbox and let's go ahead and close the browser window. We don't need that anymore. Now, if I run the terminal command again, let's go ahead and go up to terminal. You see that it says Windows PowerShell, and that's not the one I want. I want PowerShell 7. So I'm going to click this down arrow over here, and here I have just PowerShell. Let's click that one. And now you see that runs PowerShell 7.3.3. .3. And that's the one I want to use for this class. You noticed, or you may have noticed, I also had PowerShell there. Right here, PowerShell 7x64. Let's click that. Now you notice that here, it just runs in the old PowerShell uh, host window and not in the terminal. So I suggest that you run it from the terminal when you run it for this class. We also want to make sure, by the way, that we run it as admin. So let's right click terminal and click more. I don't see the admin here. Run as administrator. Let's click yes. And now we'll click the PowerShell and we have administrator PowerShell, let's close this one, Administrator PowerShell 733. That's the one we want. 